Polo Wallo at the temporary uh, permanent dump site. And I want to show you what it looked like on December 4th when they started. These mountains were here. You can tell this was here. They ripped a lot more out of here before that. I want to show what we believe they had intended for this reservoir. If you look at the lines surrounding it, this is not a reservoir, but it's intended to hold the trash in. And it's supposed to have a safety on it because so much water is going to pour down from the hills and fill it here that this wall is the most important part to stop it from overflowing into the surrounding permeable area. So let's look at that real quick. We're just going to flip right through here to the next one. You can see right here at a different stage, you can see they've started to add the liner at this stage now. Those hills are gone. And let's see those mountains that you saw earlier. This is the line that that used to look like right here. So the way we think it was designed, either something collapsed or they took off far more than they intended to. And then you look at their lower line right here. That's a big problem. You see this, it's just not consistent the way that it should be if something's actually gonna be able to hold a major rain in and not fail. So let's look at it from this, the amount of surface area to the intended collection area. Normally, for the amount of surface area, this would be three times bigger than this so that it would be able to collect the amount that catches in here and then be able to hold it without it just overflowing, especially considering this is going to be filled up with toxic material. So now you have this toxic material, you put it in here like a big tea bag. Then what's happening? Okay, it's in here. You have something to collect it, but obviously this is inadequate. You can look at the line here compared to the amount of surface area that's going to flow this. It's actually quite crazy. Um, to give you an idea, we will put some of the formulas out there for you so that you can see what that looks like. Here's when the water is uh, just finally starting to come now. This was from three inches of rain right here, and you can see what happened. Just from this little bit of surface area they had, three inches of rain was just about enough to overflow it, where we believe it was designed probably to be up here. Somebody's messed up here, and this is real obvious, I believe and it, you can make that decision for yourself. We just wanna show you what's actually happening. So this is where the water came up to with three inches of rain. So if we keep looking here, you, we're gonna kinda of show you what that looks like with the level lines. And uh, you can see again, there was this tiny little pipe they were trying to drain it with. It was insufficient. So let's keep looking forward here and come to after the rains. They told us that they're gonna have all these protocol for dealing with this once it's contaminated by this. But what do we see? We see water just on the ground soaking into everywhere. And their answer to that is actually just to pump it right out. Do you see any safeties in place here? No, they're just pumping it right down the hill that it's actually gonna soak into. As it soaks into this hill, there's gonna be major problems, major problems. Now they have a sleeve over it because they can already see the wet spots on it from the days they were draining it. This uh, is really dangerous what they're doing. And if you look where they're draining it into, they're just kind of trying to cover up their tracks where they drained it into this little pit here. Um, so what's gonna happen? What is the protocol for their leachate? Look at the amount of surface area here. One inch of rain is over a half a gallon for one inch of rain that of a square foot of surface area. So if you can imagine over 400,000 square foot of area here, what, how much gallons of water? That's 200,000 gallons of water for every inch of rain. And those estimates are pretty low because we think there's a lot more surface area than that. So let's put it in perspective. What happens when this all piles up and we get a heavy rain and it ends up in the bottom here with all of this amount of area, it's gonna be trying to go into an area that's smaller and all of the overflow is gonna permeate into the surrounding area. This has catastrophic consequences once there's toxic materials in here. Please take all of this into account and look at the facts. Thanks for your time. Aloha.